Hello. In this tutorial, I want to introduce you to the ReDrum drum computer. This is the drum machine in Reason, and it's a pretty uh, fantastic device. Let me just introduce you to all of the components. I have already created a uh, file here, and I've created a mixer and a ReDrum. Now, as you can tell by hitting tab and turning the rack around, I've got this redrum wired into the mixer so we should be able to hear the audio. This is the redrum computer. It's composed of 10 separate channels or sample patches. And in these you can load individual samples that will be triggered by the pattern. Now. Uh, these are not MIDI. These are actual samples. They were pre-recorded audio files. Most of them are recordings of real instruments. Some are electronic. But this is an important concept to understand, that these are actually playing audio files. This is where the MIDI magic happens. It programs the on and off, or actually just triggers the on of when these samples will play. This is just a recording. So you can load individual samples by clicking the browse sample. And if you go to the Reason Factory sound bank and scroll down to the redrum drum kits and exclusive drum sorted, here are all the drum samples sorted by type. So you can always create your own drum kit if you want to. But Reason has created many different preset kits. So if you come down here, and on this folder icon, you can see it says Browse Patch. And here, it's defaulting to the Redrum Drum Kits folder, but you can get to it through the Reason Factory Sound Bank link. Um, you can browse folders of preset kits. So let's come and just grab one randomly. Now I can sample the sounds of each of these kit components by clicking this little arrow here. BD obviously stands for bass drum. Snare drum. An effects. Cymbal. A second snare drum. Another bass drum. Another bass drum a hi-hat, a second hi-hat, and a clap. There we go. So those are our sounds. Now before we start building a beat, let me show you some other important uh, components of the redrum. Down here uh, we have our patterns. There are four banks with eight patterns in each bank. So you can program and store up to 32 different patterns in the redrum. And later I'll show you how to um, automate between these patterns for your compositions. The number of steps indicate the number of squares, little, little buttons here, that are included in your um, your beat. And it's directly related to the resolution. Right now the resolution is set to 1 16th, which is the default, which means each of these buttons stands for a single 16th note. In 4-4 four, four time, which is the most common meter, there are 16 16 notes in one bar, 4 per beat. So this right here represents one measure of 4-4 four, four time. If I wanted to do one measure of 8th notes, then I would only have eight steps. So with a 16 steps and this set to 1 eighths, right now this is two measures of music. Now, for the most of the time, you're just gonna want to keep that on 1 16th unless you're trying to do a shuffle, in which case you'd want 1 8th triplet or 1 16th triplet. But you can have as few as one steps and as many as 64. So in 4-4 four, four time, set at 1 16th, you can have up to four measures of beats. I'm going to set this back to 16. Right here are edit steps. I'm clearly viewing steps 1 through 16, which would be the first measure. If I had 32 steps in my pattern, now I could see measure 2, measure 3, and measure 4 if I had up to 64 steps. And we have three dyna dynamic ranges. And we have three dynamic ranges in which you can put in notes, soft, medium, and hard. 
and you'll use this to create accents within the music. Let me go ahead and build a simple beat. The first thing I'm going to do is hit the run button so that I can hear it playing as I go. Now this is tempo dependent. The global tempo is set right here in your transport and you can click on this and type in a number or use the arrow keys. It doesn't really matter. But whatever tempo this is is how fast this will play. Now notice there's a scrolling red light here and this is showing you visually which of the steps are being played at any given time. So let me go ahead and build a beat. I'm going to start with the bass drum and I'll work my way up. Okay, there, I build a beat. As simple as that. There's one other thing you need to know about here in Reason, and that is this shuffle button. The shuffle button applies a swing type feel to the beat by shifting where the 16th and the 8th notes fall within the measure. Straight is where each beat is evenly divided, which is the default. Shuffle shifts. Listen to this pattern straight. <laughs> Now shuffle. Hear the difference where the 16th notes get shifted a little bit later in the bar? Here it is straight. And shuffle. You can set the amount of shuffle right here, the global shuffle. So I can really make that 16th note late. Or I can make it virtually straight. There you go. Have fun making beats. <laughs>